Okay, the next part uh, we like to introduce uh, BGP, but we again we only introduce a uh, concept of BGP, but we will not go over uh, how routers are set up, how uh, BGP works. Okay, we simply just want you know some uh, basic concept of uh, BGP. Okay, um, BGP it stands for Border Gateway Protocol, so it's a de facto interdomain routing protocol. Okay. So it allows something to advertise its existence and the destinations it can reach and the rest of the network. So um, that's simply just take a look at this figure, which is very uh, easy to understand right here. For example, we have two atomic systems right here. So um, the red part, okay, is called eBGP. That means those routers, okay, those bold, uh, those gateway router, we call it gateway router. This gateway router will communicate with each other and try to advertise what subnet it can reach to its neighbors. It's very, very similar to Bellman Ford's equation, right? So uh, basically, uh, BGP is um, a distance factor based fashion uh, approach to uh, do inter as routing protocol okay and you can see that there is another one another blue lines which is IBGP okay IGBGP is wrong within a tiny system they will come to with each other they can uh, know how to route packet within the S so uh, right here let's go back to here okay BGP provide each S a means to the first is eBGP okay Obtain some net reachability information from neighboring S. So it's more like Bill and Ford. It's more like distance vector. IBGP propagate the reachability information to all AS internal routers. So it's more like um, uh, intra AS. Right? Uh, determine the good routes. It's, it's still the same. Okay, it's still the same. Okay. So uh, the gateway routers run both eGBP and iBGP, okay? And uh, um, basically when they exchange information, okay, two BGP routers exchange BGP message over a TCP connection, okay, that is a, in BGP, it is a TCP packet, but in OSPF, it is simply just a IP packet, okay? This information, they will advertise path to different destination word prefix, okay? So let's take a look at this one at uh, uh, s3 okay there is a um, small subnet at the right hand side which is x right so as3 okay well it's border it's uh routers a3 will advertise to c uh 2c says that s3 can reach subnet X. Okay, so 2C will receive such kind of information. Okay, F3 gateway will advertise path AF3X to S2. Okay, so that is the basic idea. It is very simple, very simple, very similar to Bellman 4. Okay, so uh, we, we will not talk about uh, the, the details. So this, this page is just for reference. Okay, just for reference. Okay. So it's still the same. AS2 router 2C receive the path advertisement AS3X via eBGP from 3A. It then propagates such kind of information via iBGP to all its routers in S2. Right? So 2B, 2D, 2A will receive such kind of path information that a3 can reach x and after that at 2a okay 2a 2a will advertise such kind of information again to s1 the path is s2 can reach s3 and can reach x such kind of path information to the gateway router at S1, which is 1C, 
so so on so forth, so on so forth. So this information can be propagated. Okay, that is PGP, and of course, if there is another route from A three uh, A to one C, and three A can advertise itself directly to one C, so one C will receive two information. So at this moment, one C will calculate the Benjamin Ford equation to say, okay, maybe one C can reach X through A three is much shorter because it does not have to pass through S2 and so on so forth so on so forth so that's a very simple just just advertisement and uh, calculate compute Bellman Ford equation okay I think that is the ba uh, basic concept of uh, BGP and IBGP and EVP and you, you don't have to uh, run the protocol in, right here because it is too complex and it, it it's only contain very limited information so we simply just um, pass this uh, view graph okay the next one we have talked about SDN uh, right here uh, in early days you have uh, a network administrator has to um, control or we say manage or to uh, set those routers one by one okay but after software defined network you can use a remote controller to control the agent in each router and to compute the forwarding table for all these routers so that is the dif difference between control plane and data plane right um currently uh, we, we we simply we, we indeed use such kind of uh, uh, method to to do control plan but um, you have to notice that that those routers are under the same control un under the same administration right so um, basically you can do it in your own AS right you, you cannot control the the routers in the internet right you can only control the routers in your own AS so you can do it in AS and in AS you can run um, OSPF you can run EBG EBGP IBGP okay so again that is you you, you you we will skip these pages because it is not um, not the message exchange between them is a little bit complex and you don't you, you will not use all the things in your daily life okay so we you simply just know that we have SDN that's good enough okay the important thing is right here we like to introduce ICMP which is also called PIN P-I-N-G that is a uh, utility in your Windows and in your Mac. You can simply just uh, pin an IP or a domain. Okay, so it is a IP message. Okay, so it has an IP header, but it is not not UDP. It is not TCP. It is simply just a IP packet. So some information will be attached at the end of IP header. Okay. There are two important um, fields right here. Okay. If you, for example, if you pin, for example, www.google.com, okay, and this ma this pin packet will be forwarded by your router and to the internet and to Google's router, right, and to www.google.com, this specific HTTP server, right. So after this HTTP server receive your pin, okay, the pin is right here. Your message is eight and zero, okay, eight and zero. The HTTP server will reply your pin, okay, with zero and zero, and the packet will be forwarded, routed again back to your host. So you can simply use this space, this. Uh, ICMP protocol, you use this pin utility to check if the route between you and your destination is good or is not. Sometimes routing protocol or routers may, mm, may, may have some problem. For example, uh, the fiber uh, disconnected uh, or the power outage, there are some a lot of different problems right so 
uh, the response is not always zero and zero. Okay, so we have several different. Um, we say debug message or or or, the, or information. Okay, three zero means the destination network unreachable. That means the routers in the internet cannot find a path to the to the destinations network. Maybe the subnet disappear. Maybe the subnet is cannot be reached. For example, you 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 send a pin to a private network. There are some a lot of different errors. Okay, host th uh, three three and one. That means that if the response message is three and one, that means destination host is unreachable. Maybe this host is uh, a turn off, powered off. Okay, so the gateway, the subnet, the gateway router, at the subnet cannot send the information to the destination host. Okay, maybe use the wrong protocol. Maybe your port number is not uh, is not correct. There's some, a lot of different message you can check out. Okay, so that you can use PIM, ICMP message. You can use this at utility to check. The information of IP. Okay, that is SMP. Uh, SMP is a little bit uh, different from trace route. We have introduced trace route before. Okay, trace route means you have to send multiple props to the internal uh, to the uh, to the routers in your path. So you calculate the delay between source. And uh, routers in the path, but ICMP only send a message to the destination, and destination will respond to your ICMP P message. So that is a little bit different. Okay, and that's it. Okay, uh, you can simply just take a look at it, the, the 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 view graph. Okay, that is you can see the difference between trace route and ICMP. Okay. And that part we will skip network at, uh, management as well because uh, we don't use those protocol uh, that that often in current days. But in early days we used this uh, protocol quite often. But currently, uh, Windows and Mac they turn off the 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 services on your Mac and PC. So uh, basically, if you send SM SNMP message to your Windows a PC or Mac uh, you get no response okay so um, that is okay but I, I can still uh, introduce something about as I see SNMP right here okay um, let's take a look at this one okay if uh, if you have lots of PC or Mac under your administration for example if you are the MIS uh, MIS uh, or network administrator in your company, okay? You can simply just ask everyone turn on SNMP services in their own PC or Mac. So every time when they enter your subnet, you can send SNMP requiry to all those PC and the Macs. And those PC and the Macs will return certain information to back to you for example uh, total number of datagram delivered total of datagram sent okay on um, deliverable diagram there are a lot of information for example uh, uh, how long have you been since you reboot there are a lot of information are defined in SNMP's MIB management information base which means a database okay so you can use a tool to easily collect all the information about this host about its network by using SNMP protocol but so so that you can know how many hosts in your subnet and what is the condition what is the network um, interface card what is the port what is the uh, telegram sent by by this PC or Max, but as I mentioned again, but 
currently in your Mac or your SMP. We don't turn on SMTP in your operating system so that you may not get very, such kind of valuable information. So we simply just skip it, okay? So we're done right here. But I would like to show you some uh, figures about uh, real world um, routers, okay? Routing um, structure, okay? Um, right, uh, the, the figure right here it is uh, not NCCU, it is NTU's campus network, but it's a, it is a little bit old. It, was, it is the figure of 2000 and 11 but i think it is very nice figure for us to understand to comprehend the two level ospf structure so let's take a look at this figure okay um there are some department in national taiwan university they uh they um uh, they, they they know how network how network works for example here it is a um, router managed by information management department, okay? That is managed by computer science, the, uh, CC, si computer science, okay? And I think that one is double E. And uh, I, I, don't know, I don't know which one it is, okay? So uh, those department, okay, they will manage the neighboring routers in their area, as we mentioned in OSPF, right? And here is DOM, 6509. That is another DOM router. Those routers, they, 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 they have their own area. So maybe they run OSPF in their small area. But all of them connected to two core network, core router. Okay, you can see that oh, those orange line. Okay, they connect all those routers from different areas to the backbone, right? So we have such kind of a structure. And as you can see that, uh, for example, in DOM sixty five zero nine. Okay. In this area, there are still some other smaller routers. For example, uh, this router is, is uh, take care of the the dome. Okay, this area takes care uh, about a hospital. Ta National Taiwan University has a hospital. Okay, so. Um, so on and so forth. Okay, that's it. So that is the core network. Okay, and as we as we as we mentioned, this is a AS of National Taiwan University, but they have to connect it to other S, right? So you can see that there are some other AS. That is TW gate. Okay, so you can see that there is an AS number right here. That is Taran. Okay, ASCC. There are several different autonomous system right here. That is the high net. That is tar net. This backbone router is all connected to two WAN routers, WAN one and WAN two. Right, and those WAN routers will connected to the other AS. So at the bottom side, that is the AS in National Taiwan University. They have two layer structure, one backbone, the other is small areas. And small areas will manage different other, other routers. And they will connect it to, together to the core, to the backbone. So uh, I think that is a, uh, I think that is a good figure that can explain. Indeed, we 
manage we manage our network in such a way in a two level way okay so again uh i cannot find uh i cannot find uh, a good figure of nccu but uh, i think i find a another figure right here so right here this router is nccu so that is a small i think that's one small s of nccu okay we have so of course we have even more routers but in this figure we, uh, it only uh plots some uh very i, I think it's over simply five figure NCCU is far, far, is far, far, far more, more complex in in this way. Okay, um, and again, NCCU is the uh, center, north the the second north center of network in Taiwan. So um, it has uh, two big routers. Of course, one of Uh, our border router connected to these two bigger router. These two router, one of the router goes to Tarnet. The other one goes to Tarn. Just as what what we see in uh, NTU's campus net network, one is to here, the other is to here. Okay, NTU is one of the network center in north of Ta Taiwan, and NCCU is another area center at the north of Taiwan. They both connect. They both use a, a big router connected to Tarnet and Tarun. Okay, but the other side is that there are some other universities or or a mid school. Okay. They also connected to our one of our big router. Okay, there are some other university right here. Okay, that's just the name of some other university. Okay, so they connected to the um, this router. Okay, this router. So we will help them. So basically, they are they are other AS. Okay, they are they they all belongs to different as only national change university they they uh, only we uh only those area are under same control of the as okay but i think this figure is over simplified okay and you can see we still have uh some kind of uh, two level uh design okay all different as connected to different ads and within the ads they, there should be some uh, small part of network okay so uh, the other is the tyrant okay that is uh, uh, another high-speed network built by by our government okay so we have several different nodes okay uh, nccu and ntu and academic syndicate is three of the major nodes in the north of taipei and there are some other university with response for to um, to connect all the network together, all the AS together by using this uh, high speed backbone line. Okay, so that is that is what that is what exactly I would like to share with you. Not the the routing uh, format. We 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 don't we, we will not cover all those parts. We only cover what, what I think is more important. Okay, in this chapter. Okay, uh, we will stop right here. So uh, we we will have homework, uh, new assignment. So make sure you uh, check the course website.